three, two, one. Oh my god, I don't know how to start this. Oh my god, OMG, guys, like, what is this camera even on? Goodness me, I am so nervous. Oh my god, guys, it feels like it's the first time I am sitting next to the camera and talking to you guys. And what, what, what was it? Okay, let's hang in, let's hang in, guys. <laughs> Three, two, one. Marhaba guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Mary. How you guys been doing? Actually, let's start again because I feel like I'm not having that energy that I used to have. Oh my goodness. Merhaba guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sega Meliha out here. How you guys been doing? I hope all of you guys are in a good health like I am and alhamdulillah for another day. Woohoo, I've done it, yay! I actually guys, before starting to open the camera, I was like, I think I forgot my intro. And then I was like, oh my god, I should not forget it because like, this is my main thing. This is my intro. This is what I love. This is what I do. This is what I miss. And oh my god, guys, I think I keep saying oh my god so much. Like, I just can't believe it. I've been away like nearly three months now without vlogging, without getting a camera out, without being on social media without uploading i know guys i am so so sorry i have been actually two months i've been away i went to see family in dubai and i know there were so many activities that i've done so many beautiful things that i've done i could have just got my camera and you know what guys and you know what guys yeah i actually took my camera but I just felt like, you know what, I, I am staying for two months, I just want to be away from social media, I want to be away from the camera, I want to be away from everything, I just want to relax with my mom and my little boy and my other family. That's why I couldn't record anything, I couldn't vlog anything, I couldn't even take pictures to post on my social media like Facebook or Instagram, which I should be. Oh my god, I think there's something on my eyes. Oh my god. Guys, anyways, what do you guys think of my... Uh, style of my scarf. I feel like I usually don't wear something like this. What in the world is happening? Guys, I think there's something on my eyes. Okay, okay guys. So, what do you guys think of my scarf style? I have no idea what I've done. I just said, you know what, I just need something really comfortable, really quick, so I can feel more comfortable while I'm sitting down with you guys and talk to you guys. So, I just done something really simple. I don't know how I did it but I actually like it and I didn't know what to do with this <clears throat> this long piece so I just left it out like this and it looks actually more nice I think it will look more nicer if I just have long earrings and that would look actually nice and I think I actually like it I might do that often you know I think like on summer we need something like this because it's gonna be hot so I know we're still in winter but I'm talking about summer so I think this is gonna be actually nice so guys let's get into the video today's video because like I said I've been away for three months nearly three months actually no actually three months today I haven't been doing nothing and I was wondering what to do for you guys so I said let me just go on my uh, Instagram which I'm gonna write it right here and I want you guys to go follow me on my Instagram and my snapchat Instagram and snapchat which I'm going to put them right here so go follow me on my Instagram and inshallah I will be posting beautiful things and inshallah so many beautiful things will come okay guys let's go back to what I was saying so I was saying like I didn't know what to do like what to vlog for you guys what to start because I've been away for three months so I said let me go on my Instagram and ask you guys to ask me questions which which is going to be a Q&A questions and I've got a really pretty much nice questions good questions really interesting questions which I said I will be answering them right here inshallah for you guys so guys get yourself comfortable like I am I'm very comfortable get yourself a cup of tea if you want popcorn or if you want a, a biscuit whatever you want like I am I got myself a lovely coffee it's a letter L it's actually my mom's cup I can't find my cup so I don't usually drink tea guys so I drink coffee I'm more into coffee than tea 
So get yourself comfortable like I am and we'll get with the questions. What you guys have asked me is all right here. I actually had to screenshot some of the questions that I really liked and I am going to answer them. So it's all here guys. I don't know if you guys can see. It's all of it here. Yes, I actually love the questions because they're really interesting and it's just I think it represent my stars so I really like them that's why I had to screenshot them and yeah so let me know first down below what type are you are you a coffee person or a tea person if you are comment down below and how many times do you guys have tea or coffee in a day oh my god guys I'm so excited so let's dive in a first question the first question says how is it to be a mother and a public person at the same time to deal with it. Thank you. Well, how is it to be a mother? It's a beautiful blessing thing that you will have from Allah. I love it every moment. I enjoy it every moment. I never expected that I will be a mother very soon. But Alhamdulillah, thanks to Allah, I am a mother with a beautiful gorgeous little boy and it's a beautiful feeling like it's as well as very hard it's so beautiful because like if you have support with family then I think you'll be fine even if you don't have family support you'll be really fine because once you be once you hit being a mother you're just gonna feel the moment of yes I'm a mother now I have to have responsibility this is my job this is what I'm doing this is my 24 hours job and a public person at the same time by a public person do you actually mean like being in social media well if that's what you mean as a public person at the same time I feel like I'm just the same person I have not changed single bit only I've changed like maybe I need to take more uh, responsibility for you guys to post what I can post to entertain you guys to enjoy what you guys like watch from my for my blogs and my channel and to just learn something out from my side this is what I love it and she said to deal with it how do I deal being as a mother and being as a public person it's just I'm being the same person I'm just doing my routine uh, daily thing and with the social media I try as much as I can I can actually put it on the same what is my routine on a daily so yeah the second question guys have you ever been through anxiety if yes how did you deal with it okay guys uh, when I have read these questions I felt like um, yes I have been uh, through anxiety I think once I have broke up with my ex and um, that same time I had my child so I was like going through anxiety but alhamdulillah I went through it really well because I had support through my family so much guys and with my prayer I think that helped me so much like non-stop like I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was the type of person that I used to pray then stop pray then stop but then once I uh, like got married and had my baby my prayer went actually really pretty good alhamdulillah and from that time I've never missed any prayer and I start praying and yeah so that's how I deal with my anxiety I was praying to God to help me out and I had support with my family as well and family and friends like seriously guys if it was if it wasn't my mom and my brother and my best friend I don't know what I was gonna do and my sister in law actually everyone everyone like I'm so grateful alhamdulillah with you with yourself I honestly think uh, get into your prayer more and um, try to let it out uh, to someone that you really love maybe your family or your friend that someone just try to get it out to someone that you trust uh, it could be your mom or uh, you could be your friends like speak about it just don't stay quiet because the more you stay quiet I don't think you can deal with it by yourself so you need support I think it's the best thing to support yourself with the prayer and also with family support 
I don't know if I can recommend you to go to the doctors and everything. It depends on how your situation is and how the anxiety is with you. But inshallah, inshallah, I hope so much you are gonna get out of it. And inshallah, I don't, I don't actually wish anyone to go through anxiety because it's just, it's just a terrible feeling. I think. And alhamdulillah, I am much better right now. Third question: It is, how do I get self identity? Okay, very good. Well, um, I think first is you need to trust yourself. Second is have um, your self confidence. Third is um, be be yourself. Don't be someone else. This is how you'll get your self identity, and you will know who you are. Don't listen to what people say. Yourself. Listen to your to listen to yourself listen to your mind listen to your heart and you will find yourself identity the fourth question <sighs> very nice <laughs> okay the fourth question it says when do you think a person is ready for married oh very good question okay honestly i think for a girl when she's 20 it's a perfect age for her to get married okay and for a guy i think honestly if he's 26 yeah 26 25 26 because that time she's more adult and she knows what she's doing in her life and she's more mature and for himself as well for a guy he's more an adult he knows what he's doing he's settled by that time and that's the perfect time for them to get married this is what i think but other people might think different because like in our cultures for um in arab cultures for a girl to get married 16 or 18 or 19 that's a really normal age for them to get married and also i think for an asian or for a somalian or whatever i think like they think it's normal but i honestly don't think that's really normal i just think they're still young you know <clears throat> excuse me i just think they're still young like but if you're 20 or over than that and he's 26 and over than that i think that's perfect age for them to get married that's what i think i don't know about the people i don't know what they think and yeah the fifth question guys do you have an advice to gain confidence to wear a hijab at school oh my god guys this question when i read it it actually felt me so much i loved it so so much the reason why i loved it is because giving advice for someone to wear like to make them feel comfortable to wear a hijab not just at school at like general i think um you really can't first thing you can't force yourself to do something that you don't want to do and wearing a hijab it's literally a beautiful thing to wear honestly wallah like i was my hijab was not papa weared you know when i was young i was wearing a turban more i was showing my hair more like i was not wearing a papa hijab until i got my child to be honest um i just felt like now is the right time not because i had my child it's just like i felt like inside me like now is the right time i just want to wear it for real i want to like i had my confidence so for for you for you my lovely um just if you feel it's right that i want to wear the hijab wear it just don't wear it because someone is advising you or someone is telling you wear it because you want to wear it no i want you to wear it because you feel like you want to wear it because like you can you can wear it from someone advised but then you're not really confident from inside you and you feel like no i just don't want to wear it that's not good so wear it if you feel like inside you i want to wear it question it says this person is amazing she was like, how do you remain yourself while practicing religious as in not losing your personality? Oh my God, thank you for asking this question. Like really, thank you. By this question, how I practice religious as not losing my personality. By this question, guys, 
Alhamdulillah and Alhamdulillah and Alhamdulillah three times your prayer. I swear to Allah, your prayer makes you really, really strong for yourself and to Allah and for for everyone that is surround you, around you, whoever you wear. You will have that personality with Allah and you will feel very strong and you will have that comment with Allah and yourself. Honestly, I'm not lying guys. Like be closer with Allah. This is how your religion will be stronger and this is how your personality will be stronger and you will you build up you will build up with more trust in yourself, with more confidence, with more what you're doing. So I just think be close with Allah, be close with your prayer and this is how you are going to be. And this is how you're not going to lose your personality. Trust me. Wallah. Sixth question guys is where do you live and what's your dream about your YouTube channel? How many siblings do you have? Wow, this is like three questions in one. Where do I live? I live somewhere in the world. <laughs> um, what's your dream about your YouTube channel? My dream uh, about the YouTube channel is honestly is to build up more relationship with you guys and just to be like a very strong influencer and inshallah in the future I want to have my own brand of lipstick and also I want to have my brand as a headscarf and how many siblings do you have? we are nine, nine of us six sisters including me and three brothers so mashallah we are actually a really big family my dad actually did his thing so yeah <laughs> okay the seven question i hope i said seven um how is life being a single mom and do you not get lonely Ooh. okay okay let me just have a drink okay good question but at the same time like mm, what do you mean by do you not get lonely mm no i don't get lonely at all because number one um being a single mom it's not as bad as everyone sees it okay because being a single mom is just makes you really stronger honestly it makes you really strong person it makes you a really independent person and it makes you feel like Alhamdulillah, I'm very strong until now that I am dealing this by myself. So I honestly feel like I'm normal and I'm living my life as everyone else. Eight. Question eight. What university did you study at and what course did you take? Much love from Tanzania. Oh my god, so much love for those people, Tanzania. Did at well, the first university I studied at was in London, when I used to live in London, that was three years ago, three years ago, yeah, at University of West London, and I have done my first year of psychology, yes, please comment down below, let me know how many of you guys have took a student loan, but then have not finished university. Or the second question is, how many of you guys have took student loan and have not saved it in something good and wasted it with clothes, makeup, bags and shoes just for uni? Like seriously, how many of you guys have done that? If you guys are like me, please comment down below and let me know because this is like me as well. I wasted so, many, so much money and I have not saved it for something good. And I regret. How old is Rayan? My little boy, my gorgeous boy. He's gonna be one year next month, the 30th of March. 10 question, guys. What's your goal to lipstick? Okay, I'm into like matte. I love matte lipstick, guys. 11 question is Do you think you will be in a better situation you are at now in a few years? I think. Alhamdulillah, I am in the best situation right now because honestly, I want to say and all of you guys have to say Alhamdulillah, you got your health a lot of people don't have health 
amazing situation where you are right now and you need to say alhamdulillah because other people don't have that a few years later i honestly don't know what will happen in a few like few years later i wish we should i wish i wish we know what will happen but no one knows only allah but i honestly will help to be in a very good health um in a very good uh, condition where i can see talk do my things by myself a where i can take care of my child look after him raise him how i've been raised by my family and in having my own business having my own house um, having my own partner inshallah in a very good way and living my life with him in a happy life so this is what i wish inshallah but i don't know what's going to happen later on on the future at 12 question says um, do you face racism from other Arabs? You know guys, when I read these questions, I honestly didn't understand why I have that person asked me this question. Because like, I'm an Arab person myself and I have never been raised, like, I have never seen racism from other Arabs. Like, is there people do that nowadays? We are 2020, who does that? Even if you're Arab, non-Arab, Muslim, non-Muslim, Jewish, non-Jewish, um, Christian, why racism? I don't understand why you have to do the racism. Why is there racism? Why? I have not seen that, alhamdulillah, from my own people. If you see that from your own people, then I think that we messed up. The world have messed up. We're gonna die. 2020 is the the end of the world. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Okay, I was I think what inspires you to making a YouTube videos? Hey guys, what inspires me to do videos is you guys. Voila. Like if it wasn't you guys, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't be making the videos the second thing honestly I love the camera I just love being in front of the camera I love um, acting in front of the camera I love talking a lot in front of the camera I'm honestly a chatty person it's the first thing is you guys the second thing is the camera me loving being the camera um, the 14 question guys what is your favorite thing to do after a stressful day love you so much I love you too first thing second thing what is my favorite thing to do after this second thing is to have a long bath a long relaxing bath and play with my little boy which part of Yemen are you from I'm from Adan <laughs> okay okay this question I heard Nairobin is her favorite sister and Ryan best auntie. Is it true? Yes, it is true, baby girl sister. I know this question you asked Nairobin. And yes, Nairobin is actually, all of them are like the best aunties and uncle. And, but she is the most, most best one that honestly she calls every day. Every day she calls to talk to Ryan. And he loves her so much like whenever she calls on facetime actually she calls every time on facetime he's like smiling and he gives her like a kiss that's so cute it's like so adorable they have like this cute connection Nermin and ryan it's so amazing what's your favorite makeup brand um i like um maybelline i like maybelline makeup i like mac um revolution the beauty yeah that's my favorite okay guys this was the end of the video i hope all of you guys have really enjoyed today come and q a question with me that's what i'm gonna call it come and q a with me questions and i hope all of you guys have really enjoyed my answers and i hope all of you guys have actually learned something from me and took an advice from me or um gave an advice for someone and i hope you guys and i hope that helped you guys out and i just want to say thank you so much for watching my video today i love you guys so much and guys i want you to 
follow me on my Instagram and give a big 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 like for this video because I'm back on YouTube and uh, let's hit at least to 300 or 400 or a thousand at least like a thousand like let's see a thousand like guys uh, for this video because I'm back and I'm so excited guys that I'll be vlogging from now on and I am back <laughs> and I just want to say guys yeah before I forget I am he's awake again but I just want to say guys let me finish this quick I just want to say that guys if you guys want me to do a prank on my family I never do pranks I know the pranker is my brother and my sister but if you guys want me to do pranks please comment down below let me know what type of pranks you guys want me to do and who you guys want me to do pranks with or who you guys want me to prank with and comment down below or go follow me and um, send me a message on my Instagram so you guys can tell me what you guys want me to prank on my sisters and I love you guys so much and bye I hope you guys I hope I see you guys soon bye